Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another show here on the Trucker Rudy Show. Yes, indeed. We're still sitting here at camp. Got our fire going. Getting ready to drink some tea. Hot water. Mate tea. Yeah, mate tea, yeah. And then today we got to clean everything up and uh, leave, go back home again. Eh, still a little bit cloudy, as you guys can probably tell. But we didn't get much rain at all overnight, like I said. We're supposed to be getting a ton of rain and uh, supposed to be raining all day long. I haven't seen any rain. <laughs> I heard it rain. I heard it rain one time a little bit and the ground is like hardly even wet. I think it was a little bit wet around the building there because the water ran off, but that was about it. But other than that, the wind has picked up a little bit. So uh, yeah, anyways. We're going to have our tea and then uh, pack up and go home. As you guys know, it is time to clean up. So that's exactly what we're doing. Just about cleaned everything up. We got our barbecue loaded up and everything. All our coolers and all that stuff. All strapped down, ready to go. Pretty much just got a few things left in the, in the house over there. And then we'll be... Uh, We'll be good to go, but uh, I wanted to show you guys something else. We had a little bit of a wind here overnight, right? So, let's go take a look. Yeah, something something happened over here overnight. Look at this. We got a branch or a tree that fell down. Fell right onto this uh, building right here. Yeah, look at that. The wind blew it down. Yeah, I hope there ain't no damage on there. It doesn't appear to be, but maybe a little bit of damage here. I don't know. But it ain't our building, so it ain't going to come out of our pocket. Because it's not our fault that this tree fell down, right? You see, this is how they're supposed to be, right? They're supposed to be hanging down like that. But yeah, huh, look at that. That tree snapped right off. Yep, I woke up uh, in, the, in the middle of the night from the wind and I thought I heard something hitting the uh, hitting the building here, but it wasn't 100% sure, but that's what it was. I didn't even notice it right away first thing in the morning, but then I woke up. We were sitting there having a tea and all of a sudden the wife said, oh, it looked like a tree fell down. So I'll well, have a closer look and sure enough, tree fell down. Luckily it only hit a little bit there, so... It's a fairly strong building, but anyways, this is kind of what it looks like. It's a totally round building. And I think it looks like you can actually slide these things down and, and they got a zipper here. Looks like you can put them all the way down, I guess, if you're getting cold in there or whatever. Oh, there's a lot of spider web in there. I don't want to go through that. <laughs> let's go the other way. Let's pack her all up and let's go home. It is time to leave guys, yes indeed it is, and now it's starting to drizzle, just a real fine drizzle. But yeah, here we go, got a ways to go yet before we actually get back to the main road, but that's alright. Up there to the right is where you see that big hill, and they also do have a uh, ski resort just down the road from here as well. So. You can come down here in the uh, winter, I guess, and do some skiing. I can imagine uh, getting up on those big hills and come down with skis. It's going to be pretty fast. And then going over the lake, probably. <laughs> or you can probably go along the lake uh, skiing as well, probably. Well, it looks more like a river, but whatever. It doesn't matter. It's water. Yeah, today it is a little windy. Yep, so let's make our way slowly home. Got about a five hour worth of driving to do. Yep, yeah, that's where I thought it's at. Con Concession. The beach. beach. Yeah, that's where the beach is. This would be the road that we would have come out. When we went for that one walk there the, eve, the first evening there. But this is a big area. They got lots of campsites here. A lot of areas where you can just come and play volleyball. It even looks like a football court right there. We never even went down there. I don't even know what they got down there. 
But anyways, we'll get out of here and uh, show you as much as we can today. See what kind of goodies we will be able to come up with. We decided to make us a little pit stop here in Nipawa. That's right, had us lunch. Hadn't had anything to eat yet at all, so we looked around for a restaurant a little bit on the internet, or the wife did anyways, and uh, found that they had a Chinese place here, so of course we went and pulled in there, had us some Chinese food for lunch. That was good. Yep. Pretty decent anyways. Got us some fuel. Now we're pretty much good to go. I would say about two and three quarter hours worth of driving. And then we'll be home. Yeah. Now they said it was supposed to be raining all day long and so far we've only had a little bit of drizzle. That was it. Other than that, it's been okay. A little bit on the cooler side, but that's all right. We're just gonna hammer down now and go home. Yeah. 101 kilometers up to Portage La Prairie. Uh, up here coming up on the right, there used to be a truck stop there. Uh, looks to me like it's dead now. It's nobody is there anymore right there it Used to be a pretty nice uh, Steakhouse in there and everything and looks like that's all been closed down huh. Anyhow we're gonna make our way home now and See what else we will find interesting to show you guys. We're now coming into Headingley. Yeah, we're almost home. About another hour and we'll be home sweet home again. Can't wait. Yeah, now we gotta clean everything up yet. Get ready. We'll see if we find this a load going out tomorrow again, but... Yeah. Haven't called in yet to see if they actually have a load yet, but... We'll do that here in a little bit, probably somewhere pull over and call in or something like that. But, hey, we're back in Winnipeg, pretty much. Only a few kilometers and we'll be on the perimeter, yes. And it started drizzling here a little bit, but not too bad, you know, just a few drip drops here and there, but other than that, it's been okay. I think we've chosen a very, very good uh, camping days there. I think it was very good. It worked out in our favor, I think. Yeah very nice and calm and sunny and hot just the way we love it to go camping right yep. not too many bugs yeah that was actually not too bad I I got that asked yesterday on yesterday live show there if we've gotten a lot of bugs and we really didn't there's a few mosquitoes here and there and that was it really weren't too many bugs so that was good I like it I think this year there hasn't really been that many mosquitoes in Manitoba anyway, so I've heard in Ontario apparently there's tons, but up here in Manitoba, at least where we are, I haven't had too many issues with it. Pretty good. Yeah, this is the Flying J truck stop up here to the right. And that means after this next light, that's a perimeter. Yeah, look at that. Going to Kenora. Yeah, we're not going to go up there. We were there a few days ago. But probably won't go there again this year. Maybe. I don't think we will, but... Anyways, let's go home. Alrighty, guys. We have made it back home. Sweet home, guys, as you guys can see. And it is pretty cloudy yet. They're still calling for some rain. We just about got everything off the uh, trailer here. Got a little bit of wood left there, but... 
couple of beer bottles there and I guess a couple of things here and there but other than that we just about threw everything in here in the in the garage I got my coolers my tarp and stuff like that that I gotta clean up yet but we'll get to that here in a minute but anyways I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get out of here on this uh, video I hope you guys enjoyed our little camping trip here I know we sure did have a lot of fun camping and all that stuff so I hope you enjoyed them videos I know they were quite lengthy but uh, hey every once in a while I think it's all right if they're quite lengthy as long as they're entertaining right and that's what we tried to do and I hope we did a good job at it so if you liked it leave us a thumbs up leave a comment share the video don't forget to do that a lot of you do forget to do that and uh, if you're new to our channel hit that subscribe button and follow our daily journey here on the trucker rudy show with that being said have a good one everybody and we look forward to seeing you here tomorrow morning thanks for watching